tonight I'm going one on one with Ryder Furlong. Yeah, I've been doing this a very long time. We've been here a very long time in Guelph in the Red Chevron. We are we got roots in the Red Chevron. Ryder Furlong, I ain't going easy on you tonight. And I don't expect you to go easy on me. We're gonna be chopping wood. See you in the ring. Jeff Black, you've been my mentor now for a little while. And I've been watching you in the ring just as much as you've been watching me. So I'm ready to go. And when I can get you in that corner for the 626, you're not going to know it's coming. You're not going to feel it. And then if I can get that pin and win, show you what you've taught me, you're going to see what the they, them mayhem, Ryder Furlong, is all about. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to 365 Pro Wrestling. My name is Mark Perry, alongside Eddie Osborne. And Eddie, I mean, we got big matches coming up here this evening. Tell me a little bit about what uh, we could be expecting here. The 365 Nation is going to be thrilled by all this hard-hitting, body-slamming action we got. We have tricked out Tyler Turva coming all the way to us to take on Super Kamikaze always with that pest, Corey Spade. And then we have Tex Lexus, Joey Allen, and myself riding into the sunset tonight now that Lenny Lilac is finally gone. And our main event tonight, of course, John Atlas and Daddy Davis. We're going to bring you now to ringside, and we're going to get things started. versus student kind of matchup to kick things off, Eddie. Jeff, of course, taking on Ryder Furlong. Jeff Black has been wrestling for about 20 years. He's been a staple in 365 Pro Wrestling, and the fans just can't get enough of him. But he is taking on a student of his, and sometimes it throws you off your game a bit because you love that kid, and you want to work hard for that kid, but you can't ever beat you. So it's not as easy as if it's just somebody you dislike to cross the ring from you. Of course, he's probably going into this match thinking, you know what, I taught you everything that I know. How can you beat me with things that I already know I've taught you? Exactly. But here comes Ryder Furlong. They've been working very hard now, getting more and more opportunities here in 365. Trying to get the crowd behind her. The They Them Mayhem Ryder Furlong, complete with the drumsticks. Trying to provide a beat. We'll see if she can beat Jeff Black tonight. <laughs> crowd pretty receptive to both wrestlers here. Stephen Hitchcock is the official here Turner for this match. Weighing 260 pounds, Rappos. And his opponent, fighting out of Hamilton, Ontario, the They Them Mayhem Ryder. Jeff Black, former member of the Temple, but uh, as we've seen, they were disbanded, now fighting on his own. No friends anymore. And that's going to be an interesting development as 
things move along as Jeff Black kind of gets used to you know, not having that backup behind him. After uh, Tech Step and, and Lenny Lalak in the back, everything's been uh, a little different, like you said, but he's happy to be here. And in this teacher and student match, I'm sure he's going to try and give his all here and climb up the ranks and try and get maybe a grand championship match down the line. And it's all about response, response. How do you respond to you know, what happened to him with the with the disbanding of the temple as Ryder Furlong with some nifty moves to get that, into the... As that wrist lock applied nicely, Jeff Black though showing his technical prowess, maybe not known for that. He's a bigger guy, but he can, he can wrestle with the best of them. Trying to put pressure on the shoulder here and Ryder is able to get out of that with a back waist lock. Jeff Black, though, using what his mama gave him, reversing that into a hammerlock now. Got in on the reversal very, very quickly there, but Ryder. Very nice move right this, to the top inside wrist lock. And this is that teacher-student mentality. You, you have one move and then just a lot of reversals. Yeah. And most of the time, I think Jeff would like just punch you in the face, but he's showing a lot of respect here to Ryder, and Ryder's trying to prove themselves to him, so this is a heck of a matchup. Jockey for uh, uh, an edge here, both competitors. Okay. Off the ropes. Oh. Jeff Black oh. using that size, knocking Ryder right down. Yeah, baby. Jeff Black taking a little time here, hit those ropes. Duck in the line. Oh! Ryder Furlong with the hip toss arm drag there. There's another arm drag. Jeff Black a little stunned here. Japanese arm drag. Ryder on fire here. Took a little step there, had to get in the position there. Jeff Black. Might have taken a little too long there. Oh, big shot by Ryder Furlong. Hopping into the ring here. What are they looking for? Oh, that left lariat, but Jeff Black reverses it. Now you're starting to see that power come into play. Ooh. Divorce court, that single arm DDT by Jeff Black. That's gonna sting. And taking his time here. What sportsmanship. I, I Absolutely sportsmanship here right here. I wouldn't do that. No? No, me neither. At the you end wanna of be the day, you wanna be the winner. Whatever you gotta do, you gotta win. Student or not. Ryder pulling themselves up in the corner there. Black just taking his time though, not pouncing on this opportunity. Almost a sense of mercy even too, just oh. taking the time. That's not merciful. He's trying to rip her arm out of her arm. Up to that elbow up to get maximum impact and torque when he brings it back down, pulling the shoulder out of socket there. Ryder, though, trying to reverse. Oh, hit a couple of their own now. One more! Just a little bit of, hey, you can do that, I can do that too. Their arm was a little bit jacked up, though, so they didn't get as much on it as Jeff Black did, though. Oh, Ooh. clubbing ball to the back. The 365 Nation in for a, a treat tonight. This the show is going to Building up to this, we're so excited for these huge matches we got coming tonight. Students, teachers, we got foes. It's going to be a great night. A lot of bad blood throughout the lineup here. Of course, John Atlas and Daddy Davis will be the main event. Oh, as the Rick, chop. the Rick Flair chop. And you hear the crowd woo every time. Every it always happens. Oh, black rush for that. Oh, close good. Like this. Very nice wheelhouse kick there by Ryder Furlong. Jeff Black's real in here. Close on in the corner. Will they go for air Bulldog? And nails it. Jeff Black seeing stars. Here's the cover. Will it could be it. No. Oh. Just a two count. Jeff Black just kicking out there. His head really slammed to that mat. 
Like you said, he was, he was on Dream Street. He was seeing stars. He's too focused more on punishment. We haven't seen too many near falls or even attempts for pins in this matchup so far. Chop after chop after chop. Is Jet Black done with it, though? Oh, going back to that shoulder. Modified arm breaker using his neck. Jet Black. Again, though, not pouncing on this opportunity. Trying to be slow and methodical, but you just want to be right on top of your opponent. Yeah. Not for long. Having a heck of a show, and Jeff Black hasn't had the answers yet. Like you said, not, not a lot of pinball attempts. Maybe working this arm looking for a submission today. And maybe that plays into the post Temple era for Jeff Black. Trying to have that new mentality uh, in your in ring work. Trying to look for more of those submissions and bringing a little bit more versatility to your game. And, and, and trying to find himself and who he is now without Lenny Lilac, without Tex Lexus. Who is Jeff Black? I think, I think we're going to find out a lot about Jeff Black, not only in this match, but in matches to come. Black in control of this contest. Showing that he is still the teacher, still in charge here. Furlong though. Oh no. Black stepping on that hand. So they can't move their arm. Oh, oh, oh. That left arm of Ryder Furlong has just been taking punishing blow after punishing blow. Nearly 400 pounds crashing down on that arm. Time to use the girth. Ryder can't get up right now, just immobilized. Oh, now he's going to the air here. Oh, boy. That's a big man. High in the air. I think I heard him pointing to the camera saying, time to use the girth. There we go. Big splash. No, nobody home. No water in the pool. You can see the agony on Jeff Black's face now. This is Ryder's chance. It's got him reeling. Oh, form after form connecting. Ryder now with the big whip. Oh, follows it in with a nice short back elbow there. And really starting to get the crowd into it here too. Jeff Black not falling off of his feet yet, though. Ooh, good move by Furlong to get out of the way, and a big kick. And that'll knock the big fella down. The bigger they are, as they say. Here's the cover, and oh. Jeff Black just gets the shoulder up. What action we got going on. Rodgers going to continue to capitalize. They hit it. That big jump over a leg drop. Kind of a rough rider type of move there. This could be it. Jeff Black. Ryder needed a little more body on body, maybe to hold that arm down to contain this veteran Jeff Black. Uh oh. But this is probably the most vulnerable we've seen Black in this match. This Ryder Furlong. Oh, flying crossbody headbutt. This is it. Jeff Black is done. Ryder Furlong climbing to the top here. What are we going to see? Maybe that big leg drop. And oh, oh, Jeff Black no. gets out of the way. Knowing what each other does definitely has been helpful for each of them. Jeff, though, Death Valley driver. That could be it, folks. Hooks the leg and the arm. There it is. And the teacher comes out on top. But what a matchup between these two. So we're going to see a replay of this Death Valley driver. Black sets Ryder up and goes down. Hooking that arm and leg though, that's the big trick there. And a big, a big showing for Ryder Furlong in there as well, showing the teacher that, hey, I'm an up and comer in this industry and I'm, I'm gonna put up a fight. And this is what it's all about, fans. It's about the kids, it's about everybody having a great time here in the 365 Nation. And we are having fun here tonight. Still a lot of action to come here on 365 Pro Wrestling. We are live at the Red Chevron.
here in Guelph. Jeff Black, I think you're starting to understand what happens when you stick your nose in where it doesn't belong. Ever since I took the career of Super K, it's been for one reason and one reason only. It's to win championship gold. And anybody else that wants to stick their nose in our business is going to find out. And that's going to be super. Lexus, Super Kamikaze, we're, we're getting along these days, and Corey Spade, these guys are evil, and I love them. They're getting quite the reception here from the Guelph faithful. Super K, the one who actually retired Lenny Lilac. What an amazing feat that was. People were crying. It was, it was, I mean, oh, there's that fan again getting in Super K's face. We've seen them too many times here. Fans, stay in your seats. have a seat, this time will come, I guess. Oh, this is a smart move, Super K. Oh. Oh, no, what is he doing? What? CJ. Corey Spades all over Jeff Black. Oh! You cannot turn your back on Tex Lexus. Wow. Oh no, they got a steel chair. Oh. Super Kamikaze is wearing out this, I guess, super fan slash trainee. Oh, and look at the bend in CJ. that chair. Wow. Jeff Black now in there to try and make the save. There is no Lenny Lilac anymore. Super Kamikaze is damage that, done. That's what you get for not that's just what you get when you come in to an environment like this. Oh, even Sammy's out there now. Wow. 
We're gonna have to see how this all unfolds. That young man just got beaten down. Super K. I mean, credit the courage of this young man for trying to get into this ring, but. I mean, he's just not ready yet. No. This is, I guess we'll see how this like plays said, out, though. Like, like I said, his time will come, but today is not that time. What a fan, though, to love Lenny Lala so much. He put himself in so much harm against a veteran like Super Kamikaze. Super Kamikaze's been champion everywhere he's been. And to step up to him like that, it doesn't matter if you're upset with Tex Lexus. You don't have the Super Kamikaze and Corey Spade. You gotta pick your spots a little bit better. Definitely. Today I come to Guelph. You would think I wouldn't want to come to such an ugly city, but today we're here for one reason, is to take on Tyler Turva, and that is going to be super. I guess we're gonna move on to another match here, though. I guess Amanda so. Cat's looking like she's getting in the ring. Yeah, we're, we got a great matchup coming up here. Chair stiff in the ring. Now again, look at the bend in that chair. Wow. It's the crease of CJ's back. I was not supposed to like bend on them Something like that. The following contest now is for the get... three, six, five combat championship. The combat and championship. For... Oh yeah, sixteen-minute time limit. The combat championship. This will be the global championship. This is Joey Allen himself coming out here. He conquered Crofton, who held that title for many months. Referee's got to get that chair out of the ring. I don't know what he's doing here. Junior official, Jordan P. This is not going to be a hardcore match, so. Definitely not. Joey Allen, speaking of champions, once held all the gold. And later down the line, he's going to be facing Easy E. Eric Kearney in a grand championship versus global championship street fight. That is gonna be a match to see. Man, gold looks good on my friend Joey Allen right there. And a lineage that title has already held by Travis Williams, Judas Icarus, Black Siddhartha, Havico. And now Joey Allen holding the gold up. He's going to be taking on Jackson Payne, a man of few words, but he wants to get his hands on that thing right there. What a prestigious title. It's the richest prize in 365 Pro Wrestling. Jackson Payne might be in for some pain when he takes on the champ, Joey Allen, especially with Tax Lexus by his side. And we just saw just a few moments ago, if you turn your back on Tex Lexus for one second, he is going to take advantage. It's now Jackson Payne makes his way to the ring, and he looks amped up. He actually looks very scary. Look at those eyes, this is a big man. Joey Allen might be in for a, a little more than he uh, fought here. I think he was just thinking this was an easy match, but it's not gonna look like it with this big man coming out, Jackson Payne. Look at his eyes there. Just glowing. Wants, the, wants some gold to wrap around his waist. And what a huge, like, if he won that match, people will be talking about it forever, and it would change the course of all 365 Pro Wrestling would we then get Jackson Payne versus Easy E? What would happen? A landscape change potential here. With Allen and Payne 
with some gold on the line. Joey Allen sees that chair. He's not afraid to use it either. But this is, like you said, not a hardcore match. This is one-on-one -on -one competition for that global championship. Oh, wow. The disrespect. Wow. Joey Allen's been hanging out with Tex. And, uh, yeah, wow. I'm gonna repeat what he said. But that's just a sense of confidence right there from a champion. I'm Jackson Payne here, but I mean, anyone who steps across the ring can tax Lexus and one of his clients. By Indie Wrestling's true. top manager of the year and God himself, Tex Lexus. Wow, the God outside of the ring. The global champ. The reason why he's got that belt. Check to both wrestlers here, making sure they don't pour an object on either of them. But we saw it from Joey Allen a moment ago, just placing the chair to the side. The sportsmanship shown by Allen, saying, "I don't need this." Let's see what happens, though, because he might. Jackson Payne is a lot bigger than I thought. Side headlock now by Joey Allen applied. Joey Allen's been around the block a few times. His first reign as global champion. Oh, both men just colliding in the middle of the ring. Not much movement there. Stiff challenge for your first title defense. And Jackson Payne, though, can't take Joey Allen. It's the old, his feet. It's the old saying, big meaty men slapping meat. Uh, yes, and there's a lot of it being slapped right now. Oh, he even jumped into that one. Check your boots, he's got has been an asset to Joey Allen. He's put him back on top of the mountain. He's got that global championship. So you know, like, the, that's the intangible in this match. It's Tex Lexus. And he, ke and he keeps your mind on the game. That's why you have a Tex Lexus outside of the ring. Oh. Joey Allen tells Jackson Payne hit the ropes and then clubs him from behind. Oh. Jackson Payne, like you said, not many words, but shaking that head and laying the leather down. The chops <laughs> ringing through the shaft here. Neither man stepping too far back, just unleashing more damage to each other. The chest starting to blister there and turn red. Oh, Jackson Payne done with the chops. He's like, what? Look Let's at have a little test of strength. of strength here. Joey <laughs> Allen, tell him to stop making that face. Let's get down to business, says Joey Allen. Let that knuckle lock tied up there. Oh, both men grinding. No one has the advantage yet. Oh, Joey, Joey Allen. Allen. bringing him down. Jackson Payne, though, coming back up to his feet here. And he's reversed it. No. Joey Allen. Let's start clubbering. That's the veteran head of Joey Allen. He's in a tough spot. Change the game. Definitely. One small move. Finding a solution is what he did there. But right now, Jackson Payne reverses the whip and hits that big stinger splash in the corner. The avalanche splash. And the death merchant goes down. Wow, what a left lariat there. He just took his head off. Kind of an insulting pin there, just one foot on Jackson. And not surprising based on the comments we saw before this match even started. Wow, what a gut wrench suplex. Joey Allen looking for the win here. Trying to make quick work of Jackson Payne, but Payne kicks out. And 
Tex Lexus getting into the official's head. Joey Allen now laying those shoulders into the gut of Jackson Payne, trying to take some of that wind away from him. The chops coming back and a reversal. Hitting him kind of in that sternum there. That, that hurts a lot. Taking your breath away again. Oh, oh, spine buster. This could be it. We might have a huge upset. It was a very Arn Anderson-esque spine buster from Jackson Payne, but only a near fall. He just didn't have the zip on it that Double A has. Couldn't put Joey Allen away. That elbow, though, only a two count again. Now, Allen finding himself on the defensive here. Big leg drop by Payne, another co cover. Not, a, not enough body on body though, no hooking the leg. This is your global champion here. And when he hits those ropes, he needs more force. But this could be it. Jackson Payne going up top. High risk and that is not going to work for Jackson Payne as Joey Allen rolls out of the way. Again, the big guys going up top, nobody home. Nice elbow by Joey Allen there. The quickness of the execution with that elbow drop too. Allen trying to build some momentum here. And really working on that head with those lariats, that knee buster right into the face. So maybe he's looking for that big claw or his head, but it's all over when he hits that head, but Joey Allen going up now. Looking uh, for his looking diving head, but signaling it. Oh, oh, again, nobody home. I'm not gonna go to the second rope of my match. No. It's not working out for anybody so far. Jackson Payne, he's looking for that big suplex. No, Joey Allen just slips behind. It's over. Big it's buzz. over. This has gotta be it here. Two and three. Yes, Jackson Payne could not capture the title as Joey Allen retains the global championship and keeps that big matchup with Eric Kearney. And if he hits Eric Kearney with that headbutt, we're gonna have the same result, and Eric Kearney will no longer be the grand champion. Jackson Payne is out. Yeah, he knocked him right out with that headbutt. Joey Allen will give him a nice up-close personal view of that championship. He said he's never gonna lose. You see how close I'm holding this to you? This is as close as you're ever going to get to a Jackson Payne, Joey Allen. Still, your 365 Pro Wrestling Global Champion. Man, what a headbutt. To take someone out like that with one quick headbutt, amazing. And Payne still on Dream Street here. A good effort though, a lot harder fight than I think Joey Allen expected. This is the type of matchup that really brings that prestige to the championship. Is having challengers like Jackson Payne put up a fight like he did in this matchup. Definitely. Wow, what a match. Joey Allen with his first successful title defense. Jackson Payne, that's his first match here in a long time. So getting some great TV time with the champ. Well, looks like somebody learned a lesson today. CJ, super fan. Hey. Don't call him super. I'm the only one that's super. You know, I told the kid, I told the kid, but you people know sometimes kids don't listen to you. I told the kid, do not get in the ring. It didn't matter what I said. I could have screamed till I was blue in the face. I could have called somebody to come down here and, and, and tell him not to get in the ring, but it, it, it wouldn't have mattered. But the cat's out of the bag. Jake the snake tossed the snake out of the bag into the ring. It's all out there now. And, and Corey, and Tex, and Eddie, and Super K, and all you other jabronis. You got hell to pay. And it's coming from me. <laughs> 365th 
365 Pro has landed. The Saturday Night Delight. Tyler Turva, the dapper, dimpled, dangerously delicious Mr. Young, fit, and stupid pretty. And Super K, this is going to finish by everyone saying Super T-Y-L-E-R, T-I-R-V-A. Because it's all about the Saturday Night Delight. Tyler Turva. Superhuman style wrestlers. Corey Spade leading his man out to the ring. Super kamikaze. I think he's the most disliked wrestler in all 365 pro wrestling these days. If I do recall, he had beer poured on him after one matchup here not too long ago. It was terrible. What a waste of beer. Absolutely. Super Kamikaze, he's, he's just been irritating fans week after week. And now he has an opponent though, the Saturday Night Delight tricked out Tyler Turba. This guy is stupid pretty, but he's also got another career. He's got another year, aggression to him side. So Super K is gonna have a big time fight with this man. Now I've seen Tyler Turba why his trade all around this province. You're in for a good one, folks. Again, though, the intangible's gotta be Corey Spade in this match. Both wrestlers could be evenly competitive, but when you got a manager like Corey Spade, it just tilts that match in your favor. It's an X factor, no exactly. doubt about it. Kamikaze, Super K, Corey Spade. This, I'm excited for this one. Super the ace of spade in the hole for Super Kamikaze. You gotta be thinking after retiring Lenny Lilac, he's gotta have a sight set on championship goal. And this could be that next step. Taking down Tyler Turva is a big step towards getting that matchup. But the Saturday Night Delight. There he is. He sure, he sure wants his hands on some gold as well. This guy is a superstar. This man, like I said, tricked out. He's stupid pretty. He's got that extra gear. And he's going to be on television for years and years to come. That's, that's for sure. Just radiating charisma. Does Tyler Turva. But Charisma's only gonna get you so far against Super, Super Kamikaze. I believe this is the first time matchup between the two as well. So they, they've known each other for years. But I think this is the first one on one match, at least in 365 for us. Expected to be good here. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Corey Spade. Super, no doubt about it. Corey Spade has no problem telling the crowd. And his opponent, from your girlfriend's dreams, weighing 221 pounds, Saturday Night Delight, Tyler Turbo! As you mentioned, Daddy, this could be the first time these two square off one on one. What do you expect from a matchup between these two? Super Kamikaze is very fast. He's got those big kicks and he uses those ropes like nobody else. And then there's Tyler Turba. He, he can 
kick you on a dime. He can jump up there with the best of them. His vertical leap is amazing. His groundwork is very, very uh, hard hitting. So this, this is going to be a really good matchup between these two. Referee Steven Hitchcock officiating this matchup. You know it's a big match when he's in that ring. The crowd already starting to get into it. Maybe that's Corey Spade on the other side giving it to the fans too as these two get into a collar and elbow tie up. Oh, Turber showing his strength there. Bowling Super K right to the corner immediately. Yeah, I think Turba's oh. got a bit of a reach advantage as Super K. Smart move by Super K here, giving himself some distance. Felt a bit of the strength of Tyler Turba. And now trying to get some instructions from Corey Spade. Again, that X factor in the corner. Getting a little bit of an outside view of, okay, this is what I need to do here. Tyler Turba, I think he went for that mask. I think, I don't know, there he might have reached at that mask just to throw Super K off his game. And that's that mental game inside oh. the ring. And talking about that mental game, he's got him going crazy right now. He's got the whole 365 Nation calling him a chicken. Super K, I'm not a chicken. Oh! Kick to the midsection there by Super Comp, or Super K. And that's that speed you talked about, Eddie. Just being able to go in there, catching Turva a little off guard, and now Super K has got a bit of the advantage here. Really working that wrist lock over, applying a lot of pressure there. Turva looking for an escape here, looking for a counter. Reaching out of that wrist, he gets that elbow right in the crook of Super K's elbow. And he fights through into a wrist lock of his arm, barring it up there. Nice snapmare. And Turbo now dropping that knee right in the shoulder. Precision with that knee drop. And you saw a little bit of everything there, the power of Turva, the, the speed of being able to execute and just dropping that leg onto the arm and just continuing to torque. Look at the torque on that arm. Oh, Super K now using that speed though, nipping up, taking the arm back just like that. Turbo lock, locking on that side headlock. And big power shown by the Saturday Night Delight and Super K has got to come out and regroup. Super K taking a powder there after that massive shoulder tackle by tricked out Tyler Turba. And again, the fans now calling him a chicken. Corey Spade getting Super K some water there. This is just smart by Super K. Give yourself some time to just regroup, get back into the game. You know what though? I think it's also smart of Tyler Turba not chasing him out there because there's two of them out there. Or he could get caught off guard. He's waiting in that middle of the ring, waiting for Super K to come back. And look, he's right in control again with that side headlock over with a takeover. Herbert really wrenching on that head, showing you kind of that second gear he has, grinding away. That's a lot of pressure on the neck. Herbert holding on to it. Oh, nice pin though. Super K, only a, not even a one count there. Turbo takes out quickly. We talked about the success of Super K. Everywhere he has gone, he has found some success. Tyler Turba, he's won championships all throughout the province of Ontario and beyond. No slouch, to say the least. Ooh. Knife edge chops right across the chest. Turba in control this matchup. And just measuring him. And you can feel it. You can see the sweat flying off Super K. My chest is blistering just looking at that. And great counter by Turva. Here we go. Back elbow. There's that explosive speed by the Saturday Night Delight. Oh, ho, ho. Turva just turning Super K inside out and taking him all the way outside of the ring here. Super K is on Dream Street outside the ring here. And as you mentioned before, Eddie, smart move by Turva, just stay in the middle of the ring. You don't want to go outside. Even with Super K down, you still got Corey Spade there. Definitely showing his, oh, he just wants him back in here. 
maybe getting a little impatient is, is Tyler Turba. We have a 20 count here in 365 Pro Wrestling on the outside. And it's up the referee's discretion when to start it. Oh, oh Super K. He's being chased now by Tyler Turba around that ring. And here's that speed from Super K. Able to roll into the ring and veteran. Oh no. Smart move by Tyler Turba. Knew it was coming. Got out of the way and back in control with those crushing blows in the corner. He's calling for it is Tyler Turba. Good Oh in. no. Corey, Corey Spade, Spade just grabs that. Oh no. Corey Spade better run. This isn't a good, this is bad. Oh no. Corey Spade. Well, wait a minute, Super K is right there. Oh, just crushes them from behind. All three men down right now. There was not a lot of space. He just fell right on top of them. Right into the front row here. Referee checking on even Corey Spade. He's seen the crumble. Wow. Turba. Spade didn't see him coming either. Turba up to his feet. Super K now up to his feet. Referee starting this count there at two. Look at that. Turbo rolls Super K in, and he rolls all the way to the outside and hits him with the hot shot. Smart move by Super K. Just utilize the environment around you and a big drop kick. What velocity and whip off that rope. He's got a two. Oh, and Turbo kicks out. Super K now in control of this matchup. Still feeling a little worse for wear from that tricked out attack he was just facing. You can see the wealth on the back of Tyler Turba from this contest. And this is what Super K needed, being able to take control of this contest. He's got Turba reeling. I think sometimes Super K takes the fans' opinions a little too personally, and he needs to focus on Tyler Turbo right now. Yeah, let Corey Spade deal with the fans. You focus on your opponent. Definitely. I mean, sometimes those fans are very... Turbo whipped off the ropes, hits a reversal there. What's he looking for? Oh, my goodness. What a spinning wheel kick. It's no, over. No, it's not. It's the ball. Turbo just gets the shoulder up. Maybe two and seven eighths. What intestinal fortitude by Tyler Turbo. I thought that was a knockout blow. Super K hit Tyler Turva right on the button. I am shocked, as shocked as you are, Eddie, that this one is not over. And now, what a move here, though. I think Corey Spade is creeping his way over. Look, no. Referee Stephen Hitchcock intervened. He caught him before he could attack him there. Super K taking a breather here. The positioning of Stephen Hitchcock here. Keeping Corey Spade at bay. I think, I think Spade should just relax right now. Let Stephen Hitchcock call that 20 count, and maybe it's a uh, victory via count out. not even stirring now on the outside. Super K already proclaiming victory. The fans, they're, they're just hoping Turbo can get up now. I think even a fans trying to help pick him up. We don't encourage this, people. You gotta stay in your seats. This is, that, that young fan trying to help Tyler Turb up. That's the connection we have here in the 365 Nation. You're part of the action, but we don't encourage you touching the wrestlers. Oh, Super K. Big oh. move by Super K. He waited for that one. And Hit with the Hoovy driver going up top, maybe for a moonsault. I don't know, you said it earlier, Eddie, we haven't had too much success with these high-risk maneuvers. Oh, Once again, no. it does not pay off. Super K down, Tyler Turva down. Who's gonna win this matchup? The person who can get the control right here is gonna be that much closer to punching their ticket, their ticket to a W and up that ladder of success. Now Turva exploding out of the corner. Trying to build some momentum here, and back outside the ring goes Super K. And he immediately follows up, throws him back in there, he's changed gears here. He switched into that next level. Big kick, Super Kick. One, One two, three, three, no. Big kick out. Wow, 
I can't believe it. Neither can Tyler Turba. Super K somehow kicks out of that super kick. What? Turba now, what's he gonna do? What more can he do? What a contest we have. He got everything in that super kick, but it still wasn't enough. Oh, he's Turba. going for that handstand uh, splash though. Super K, I guess, had it scouted. Hits that drop kick. He's gonna look for his own handstand drop kick now. The battle of the handstand move maneuvers in Turbo the corner looks here. Dazed here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my. Turba catches him. It was playing possum there, was Turba. Back and forth action. Looking for the O'Connor roll. Super K hangs on. Oh, levels him with a super kick. Another kick to the head. How many more kicks to the head can this man take? What are we gonna see? A 619. He dialed it up, hit all of it again to the head of Tyler Turba. I, I don't know how he's even standing right now. Turba getting back to his feet oh. and a super kick, knocking down Super K on Dream Street on the top. Row. This is amazing. Tyler Turba looking for a super flex here. Both then fighting on the top rope. There's not a lot of room up there. What's he looking for? Super K, maybe a sunset power bomb here. Over he goes, oh! Big time impact. Here's the cover and a kick out. He barely kicked out, but if you've seen there, folks, Tyler Turbo's head smacked off that mat twice there. That was, some, that was a whiplash effect and a half. Tyler Turva. What determination to kick out, maybe just raw instinct. Absolutely has to be instinct. These two are just rolling on instinct and adrenaline at this point. This is just an amazing contest. Both competitors fighting with everything they have, using the ropes to pull themselves up. Super K hit the move and he's still down. That's just showing you the fight they have here. What have we talked about before? This is a matchup between two potential future title challengers and they want to put their best foot forward in this match. And oh, we are no. seeing everything in the kitchen sink as Turva is able to hit Super K. He's looking for that big superplex into the ring here. He's gonna pick him up. He's got Super K up. Oh no, did you see that? Corey Spade pulled. Wait a minute. Corey Spade. And he holds the leg down. Whoa. And Super wow. Kamikaze gets the win. You called it. You said Corey Spade was the X Factor, and without him, there was no way that was a victory for Super K. Pulled him, made Super K fall on top, and then held his legs down. Stephen Hitchcock didn't see nothing. But what a matchup. Super K continues to be the main man here. And Tyler Turva. You know, you know good things are in his future. Absolutely, he, he's just, he cannot believe what just happened. But what positioning by Corey Spade. In the moment, Tyler Turba thinking that he's going to get the win. Corey Spade says, oh no, no sir. Super Kamikaze is coming out on top this time around. You can see the blood on his arm there, the welts on his back. They fought tooth and nail here for all you guys watching on Rogers TV. This was a heck of a contest. And I'm so happy I got to watch it, but I gotta get ready. I gotta get back there. I got that Sammy Sierra young man, and I'm excited for this match. What's up Rogers TV, I'm Sammy Sierra. The consensus on the internet seems to be that I might be walking into my funeral as I take on Eddie Osborne tonight. Uh, one thing they haven't accounted for is that I've spent my life proving people wrong as the underdog. He may be bigger than me, but I've got heart, I've got cardio, I've got speed, and I'm coming out on top tonight. Sammy Sierra, the young upstart kid, the one with the brightest future in all the land. Tonight, you take on beer strong Eddie Osborne. I'm gonna kick you, I'm gonna punch you.
punch you, I'm gonna kick you, I'm gonna punch you, I'm gonna kick you, I'm gonna punch you. My broadcast colleague earlier, Eddie Osborne, as you heard before the break, no longer at ringside with me, as he is gonna be taking on Sammy Sierra. But I get the pleasure of sitting beside the X Factor from our last match, as you see Eddie Osborne coming to the ring with Tex Lexus. Corey Spade, ladies and gentlemen, right beside me. How you doing? Well, I'll tell you, I'm doing great after another huge victory with Super K against that idiot Tyler Turva. And look at this, here comes Eddie Osborne. I love this guy. Eddie Osborne and Tex Lexus helped us get rid of Lenny Lilac. And I've hated that guy for years. I'm so happy he's gone. We'll never have to see that guy again. And I get to watch here, right in the best seat in the house, watch Eddie Osborne do his job. There is strength in numbers. And, you know, for yourself, being in that matchup, uh, being on the outside of the ring with Super K, some people might think, oh, you're cheating, you're cheating. No, that's just smart. It's just absolute smart. No, I don't know what you mean by cheating. Anything I did was smart. I don't think I cheated. We do what we can to win, so would anybody else. And when I'm here with Super K, winning is the only thing that's gonna happen. And when you pile up the Ws, the championship opportunities do tend to come along with it. And of course, that is the goal here in 365 Pro Wrestling, is to reach the absolute apex of this promotion and get that gold and be that gold collector if you will, as Sammy Sierra, the young upstart now, comes to the ring, and Eddie Osborne in the ring doesn't look too impressed by his young counterpart. You know what, I would almost feel sorry for this guy if he hadn't stuck his nose into some business earlier. He deserves what he has coming to him here. Eddie's gonna kill this guy. Eddie's been around the block a number of times, and he told me earlier he's not gonna go to the top rope or even the middle rope. There's been a number of high risk maneuvers in, in this event here tonight. A lot of them have gone awry. Eddie's gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna bruise him and I'm gonna beat him and I'm gonna stay on top of him and get the one, two, three. Maybe he'll go off the first rope though. I think, I think that's possible. Anything's possible with this guy. First, being accompanied to the ring by Indy Wrestling's Manager of the decade, Tex Lexus. Well, Fighting out of I don't know. BC, Close second. Three, three, three. Beer strong, Eddie Osborne. Fickle, absolute fickle from the fans here. Disrespect. Show, Show some respect for the veteran. Ontario. side of things, Corey, we heard from Sammy Sierra earlier tonight that he plans to kind of beat the bruising mentality of Eddie Osborne by using speed and cardio. So this is going to be that classic matchup between a bruiser and a high flyer. We'll see what happens when those two styles clash as well as matchup. You've got the brains of Tex Lexus on the outside as well. He thinks faster than Sammy Sierra can move. And that, as we saw in your match, in the matchup between Super K and Tyler Turva, having that X factor at ringside can prove to be key to getting that victory as we're about to get underway here. And Eddie Osborne already getting into the fans. No, wait a minute. Sammy Sierra looking for the quick pin and a two count trying to catch Eddie Osborne off guard right off the hop. You see, that wasn't fair because he wasn't ready. Show some sportsmanship, young man. Exactly. Respect your elders. That's these young kids today, no respect. Just like these kids in the crowd chanting Sammy, no respect for the history that Eddie Osborne has delivered. 
Well, I think Eddie Osborne very quickly is going to remind these young fans and the young man across from him. But look at the sportsmanship here. Even throughout all of that, that is a veteran move by Eddie Osborne knocking down Sammy Sierra. And here we go. Also to put on a clinic here the is respect, Eddie Osborne. The respect that Eddie gave by offering his hand before the match. And you know what? For Sammy, he just had to immediately go in, shake the hands, show some sportsmanship, but Eddie gave him some time. He said, no, you're not gonna give me the hand. Well, I'm gonna give you my foot. And Sammy Sierra, speaking of which, giving the foot to Eddie Osborne and Sammy trying to build up some momentum here, knocking down Eddie Osborne. Well, there's that speed you talked about earlier. He's definitely got the advantage with the speed. Trying to maneuver there, and Sammy looking for the pin, and a kick out from Eddie. Well, you're not gonna beat Eddie Osborne that quickly. And now, Sammy Sierra going up high. Eddie on the mat. What's he gonna do here? Is he looking, looking for the swanton and nails it. Going for the pin. Here it comes. Could we have a winner here? And no, Eddie with the kick out. There's no go on that pin. Eddie Osborne is a big man. Look at the difference in the size. I'm not sure how effective it is for Sammy Sierra to jump on him. As we're gonna see a replay of that last move by Sammy. As Eddie gets in the double hooks and throws Sammy to the other side. You saw the swanton, but you see the leverage by Sierra. No focus on the shoulders to get the pin. As Tex Lexus now, this is smart, as Eddie distracting the official and this is that X factor we're talking about here. Tex Lexus helping. What a, what a good, good citizen right there. Just helping his fellow mate getting into oh, the ring. That's a good job, Tex. Yeah, I, all I saw, we were watching the replay, and then uh, I saw Tex Lexus helping the young man back into the ring. That's excellent sportsmanship. Talk about the relationship that you have with Tex Lexus, both of you being able to work outside of the ring and helping these veterans and these young upstarts, you know, find their way inside the ring. Yeah, Tex Lexus is a very good business associate of mine. He's got a sharp mind. Uh, not As if somebody like Sammy Sierra, about as sharp as a bag of water. But with Tex Lexus and myself, we try to, you know, let everybody know the ins and outs, the smarts, what to do. These young guys got to learn from us. And when you can feed off of those brains, only good things will happen as Eddie Osborne using his body to absolutely annihilate Sierra. And Sammy Sierra reeling here from the bruiser. This is where Eddie Osborne's going to use his size and power to his advantage. Oh, wait a minute, though. Looking for the Hurricane Rana, nailing it. Sierra trying to show some life here. Springboard into the Bulldog. Sammy Sierra with the cover. Could this be it? And a quick kick out there. Eddie Still Osborne extending the hand. He doesn't have the weight to hold him down. And we'll see here again just a, another quick look at this replay as looking for a Uranagi from Eddie Osborne. But before that, just a moment ago, the Hurricane Rana from Sierra. Wow. And that's just how quickly he can get you. And a kick out as we go back to what's happening in the ring right now. Eddie Osborne, a near fall on Sierra. And now, just trying to work him down. He does look surprised here, Ed. I don't think uh, anyone expected Sammy to get up from that. Oh, it's the fans interfering again, that's why. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, Eddie mentioned it earlier. You can bring the energy, you can buy your ticket to get into here, but watch the show, folks. Watch what Eddie Osborne is capable of. Because there's nothing you can do about it. That's said excellently. All right, I gotta go home now. You heard that, Eddie Osborne's ready to go home. Sierra up to the top. Uh, Eddie
Cody's not messing around here. He wants this one over and done with. But wait a minute, Sierra getting in, looking, and just a quick move there. Catching Osborne on Dream Street. He's still on his feet, though. Sierra looking. And a big drop kick from Sierra. This could do it. Sierra looking for the upset on Osborne, and Osborne kicks out. Still not enough power and size to hold the big man down. Sierra continuing to try and use the quickness, and now he's going to go back. But wait a minute. Tex Lexus getting in the way. No, I didn't see that. No, no, he tripped. And big counter by Osborne. Here it is, the cover, and Osborne gets the win. You see there, Tex Lexus is a man like myself. And he manages winners. Yeah, and Tex, again, he said it. He just tripped outside the ring there. Sammy took his eye off the ball just for a moment, and that allowed Eddie to get back into the game with the reversal as we'll take another look here. Again, Eddie reeling, and you saw behind there, Tex just tripped. May have touched his boot a little bit, but well, the springboard turning into the counter. Another unbelievable performance by Eddie Osborne. He really means a lot to me. You know, as I said, he helped us get rid of Lenny Lilac. We don't have to see him again. I don't know if we'll see Sammy Sierra ever again. But I know somebody we will be seeing a lot more of, and that is Mr. Eddie Osborne. He is beer strong, like it says on the front of that jersey he is wearing. He sure is. And he's got big things ahead of him as we will take a quick break. We'll be back for the main event here at 365 Pro Wrestling Live Wealth. It is the great one, John Atlas, finally coming into 365, and I'm here to take on you, Daddy Davis. Now my problem goes way back with you. My problem is you coming out here saying that you're a better dad, because you know what? I'm a dad too, Daddy Davis, and you're not a better dad than me, and you're not a better wrestler than me, and I'm fixing to prove it here tonight. When I get you in the middle of the ring, and I'm beating your ass up and down the road, it's nothing gonna be but the relentless one, John Atlas. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our main event of the evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And welcome back to 365 Pro Wrestling on Rogers TV, Mark Perry alongside Corey Spade, and we are getting ready for the main event of the evening, and John Atlas is in action. John Atlas, this guy is a five-tool athlete. He's something else. He, you know, this guy's won the Vanier Cup. He's won the Grey Cup. I'm pretty sure he's got at least one Super Bowl ring. This guy can do it all, John Atlas. Unbelievable athlete. The guy can lift a man like the Stanley Cup and drop him down. I can't wait to see what he's going to do here tonight. Of course, he will be taking on Daddy Davis here in the main event. As you look at the disrespect being shown by the fans, John Atlas saying, nope. This is my ring, this is my time. Let's get her done. Jealousy. Guelph is home to the rudest fans, I've always said. I agree. Again, buy your ticket, come in, and enjoy the show. Is let that so the, hard? Let these performers do what they do best. Just to be in the same room as somebody like John Atlas is unbelievable. I mean, I, I feel the energy just by being 10 feet away from him. And one thing that John Atlas mentioned before this matchup is, you know what, Daddy Davis, you might be a daddy, but I'm a dad too. And my son is going to say, 
my dad can beat your dad any day. And that is what's gonna happen here tonight as Daddy Davis comes to the ring. I'm not a fan of Daddy Davis. You know, I managed him for a short time a while back, but the guy doesn't listen and he's a horrible father. Yeah, he's, he's carrying that diaper bag with him. Where are his kids right now? His kids are at home all by themselves. That's what they I mean. They don't have a diaper bag with them. They don't have diapers. They don't have any supervision. He's this guy comes here. He brings all the supplies with him somewhere else where his kids are not. He just likes to show off that he's a dad. See, look at him looking at me right now. I dropped him like a bad habit. And now John Atlas will be looking to drop Daddy Davis like a bad habit here in the main event here on 365 Pro Wrestling. So glad he can join us here on Rogers TV. We are inside the Red Chevron Club in Guelph, Ontario. As Daddy Davis gets the reception from the home crowd here in the Royal City. If only those kids knew what a horrible daddy Daddy Davis really is. I've heard he leaves the kids at home sitting in front of a VCR. They don't even know how to use one of those. And he's pandering to the fans here a little bit too much. I mean, your opponent is right there. He better take John Atlas seriously. John Atlas, he is all business. I mean, it's uh, it's quite the accomplishment to get a, a Vanier Cup and a Grey Cup, and you said a Super Bowl ring too. I'm pretty sure he's won at least one Super Bowl. That is not easy. That is a role model you can look up to in John Atlas. Exactly, he's somebody that would be a good father figure. And these fans are not. Not appreciative of John Atlas as they are absolutely on the side of Daddy Davis. We will see what we have here between these two foes here in the main event. You know why I think he brings that diaper bag because he's worried about having an accident himself every time he gets in the ring. I mean, I'll give it to him. I mean, you have that. It's always good to be prepared. No, I agree with that. It's good to be prepared, especially when you're somebody that's so nervous that you can have an accident in the ring. Well, our official Stephen Hitchcock checking to make sure everything is square. I mean, John Atlas, why do you check him? He is a, as fair as they come. Meanwhile, you got a guy here with a bag. There could be anything in there. A load could of bricks. Be anything. Absolutely. A uh, used diaper, even. You don't want to be hit with a used diaper. I sure don't. And we are underway here. Davis against Atlas. Look at the smirk on this Daddy Davis. He better take this guy seriously. And just a smart move by Atlas. Come back outside the ring. Exactly, you'll get in there when he's ready. That's that mental game that we talk about here, Corey. Is being able to just have that exit strategy outside the ring. And and a good move here by Atlas. You want to make sure there's no foreign objects in that bag. Or use diapers. Or use diapers. And see, this is like in football when the quarterback steps out of bounds to avoid getting a hit. It's, it's smart. just smart. It's just use the ring, use the environment. See, that could be used right there. Exactly. This is horrible. If I were the official, I'd put that bag maybe a little bit further away from the ring. Maybe spread out those diapers a little bit with those idiot kids over there that they don't look very disciplined. They probably are having accidents themselves. Again, it's always trying to keep disgusting. prepared. Daddy Davis, he loves the fans here, and now he's going to take a seat. 
And look, he's going to eat some junk food, probably. I don't even think the fans offered him that plate of food. You call him a role model. He definitely is not. You don't take food, you ask for it. It's just manners. Is this what he teaches his kids? All right, we are back underway inside the ring. These two still haven't locked up as of yet. So this is where Daddy Davis plays his mind games, trying to throw John Atlas off his game. It's not easy to throw a professional like that off his game. Not at all, as we get the tie up, and Atlas getting back position on Davis. And now Davis with a reversal, and down for the headlock, but smart move by Atlas, immediately going for the head scissors. But Davis back into it. Some good map technicians in the ring here tonight. Some good wrestling going on right now. But you're going to need more than a headlock to take down Atlas. Atlas with a bit of control. I believe he, uh, John Atlas, recently bowled a perfect game as well, 300. Wow. Yeah, he's amazing. Was, this was 10 pin, right? 10 pin. That, that's not easy. No, not at all. And look at this. On Daddy Davis, he's probably spending more of his time at the arcade at the bowling alley. You know, I think you're right. He's into that uh, VR virtual reality stuff because he can't handle his own life with his stupid kids. I mean, I will say virtual reality, not the worst thing in the world. Well, I guess not when you are a stupid daddy. And the daddy goes against the ropes and gets the shoulder takedown and a quick kick out by Atlas. Not going to be held down for long and another Takedown, and Davis getting Atlas in the headlock here once again. This is what Davis tries to do. He tries to get his opponent frustrated, uh, wearing them down with these moves, hoping that John Atlas will make a mistake. John Atlas quick back to his feet. What going to do here, trying to wrench the wrist of Daddy Davis, and he will get the arm. A reversal and good move here. Veteran maneuver by John Atlas, but Davis was able to get the head scissors. But too close to the ropes, allowing Atlas to get out of the ring. There's uh, the mistake by Daddy Davis right there, allowing John Atlas to get it out of the ring. And he's not going after him either, just allowing Atlas to take his breath here outside the ring and collect himself. And now these fickle fans once again getting on Atlas, calling him a chicken. The chicken's over in the kitchen, just on, on the other side of the room here. I think that's what Davis was eating earlier. Hey, protein. No, I guess he can need the protein. These are two uh, well-conditioned athletes in the ring, I'll have to give him that, but not quite as well-conditioned as John Atlas. Absolute masterpiece is John Atlas, and he takes down Daddy Davis. That was great. Oh, against the ropes, Davis, and a fireman's carry. Oh, he was going to... A big kick by Atlas. Now throwing Davis against the ropes, and a big move by Atlas, taking down Davis. And here's the cover. This could be it, and a kick out by Daddy Davis. Daddy Davis made a big mistake going for that airplane spin earlier, way too early. And now he's paying for it. And you can just see the pain in the face of Daddy Davis. And Atlas going right on the attack. Right now, I bet he wishes he was at home with his kids. Crack a cold one right in front of the TV. Watching 365 Pro Wrestling, like the, like the rest of you are here on Rogers TV. As we do thank you for joining us here on the program. Mark Perry alongside Cody Spade, and a big right hand by John Atlas. It looks like here, uh, Daddy Davis is the one being worn down. A bit of Dream Street trying to roll a pin, and Atlas with the shoulders down, but a near fall, and now another roll up. Davis trying to catch 
Atlas off guard and another near fall and a lariat with authority. There's the smarts and experience by John Atlas right there. And Davis to the ring and of course we have a 20 count here at 365 Pro Wrestling. Davis might be down for a 30 count here, maybe more. If he was smart, he would just stay down now. Atlas now getting out of the ring. That's going to break the count. Staying on the attack, and this might be this would be smart here by Atlas. Seeing Davis stirring, and says nope. John Atlas won't be happy with a count on victory. Oh, and oh. that is going to hurt. Listen to those chops. Absolutely ringing throughout the Red Chevron Club. I felt that over here. Davis now on the attack, trying to build some momentum. And a noogie? A noogie. That's the first noogie I've ever seen inside a wrestling show. I can't believe this. There's no place for that here. That's child's play. Daddy Davis resorting to child's play. He doesn't seem in a hurry to get back in the ring. Referee only up to a six count, so Davis taking his time. And John Atlas back to his feet in the smart veteran maneuver, catching Davis. And now here come the lefts. And there was Daddy Davis pandering to the crowd again. And that's, that's why you have a man in your corner. Allow them to focus on the fans, you focus on your opponent. And a big slam by John Atlas. Here's the cover. One, two, and a kick out. Back to the headlock. And again, this is smart by Atlas. You get the near fall. And you go right back on the attack, try to wear down your opponent. It's one of the reasons I dropped Daddy Davis when I managed him, because he's always looking at the crowd, always looking for smiles from the kids and getting caught in a move like this. The only smile he's got to worry about here is his opponent, because if he's smiling, you're not. Exactly. Continuing to wrench on the neck is John Atlas. I tell you, that doesn't feel good right there. Right there, you're looking for air. You're trying to get some air, and that's cutting it off. John Atlas reminding me of another famous Atlas, Tony Atlas. Tony Atlas, you're right. Another unbelievable athlete. And John Atlas, again, Davis trying to develop some momentum, but Atlas cutting him off at the pass. But wait a minute, neck breaker by Daddy Davis, and now both men are down. Well, that caught him by surprise. A huge reversal by Daddy Davis. How about Charles Atlas? Charles Atlas, another. that is another athlete. Well, I thought Daddy Davis would be smart to stay down and get his breath back a little bit, but it looks like he's not. But Atlas back to his feet. He'll be the first to his feet. Gets a right hand and a counter. And now these two just going shot for shot. A big main event here as these two are trading blows. Davis now trying to pick up some momentum. Trying to catch Atlas off guard. Takes him down. Looking. Getting him on the rope. Atlas on the ropes. Here it comes and a kick out. This is where you can see that Daddy Davis is a veteran himself. He's wrestling very smart right now. John Atlas trying to catch his breath, but again, Davis focusing on the fans, trying to build some momentum, trying to take this energy. And all he's doing is giving Atlas a chance to regain his breath here. Turns around into the fireman's carry. Davis looking to finish it off, but off the ropes and looking for the roll up. This could be it, a quick pin and a kick out. And now Atlas trying the quick roll up. The schoolboy near fall there. And now another pinfall attempt. These two are going at it here. Well, it looks like the backslide attempt. Oh, he gets it. This could be it. No, a kick out from Daddy Davis. Atlas looking for the kick. 
Daddy Davis. Could this be it? He wasted valuable time there again. Looks oh. like he was looking for a figure four, but Atlas figures it out and gets the near fall. He calls it the father figure four. The father figure four. And um, Arn Anderson asks Spine Buster from G Tony, from John Atlas. Wow. The action's really catching me off guard here. He's thinking about all the Atlases. And a big drop and a near fall. John Atlas dropping Daddy Davis like a strong man drops the Atlas stones. John Atlas is uh, the greatest Atlas, I believe, that I've ever heard of. Even better than the book, The Atlas? I was thinking about that. I'm waiting for the movie. I mean, most people do. How can you sit through a book when you can just sit through a two-hour movie? Exactly. I, who has time for that? We're, we're busy people these days. Especially uh, somebody like John Atlas. You can see that he's busy training constantly. He's always in the gym. But now Daddy Davis taking down Atlas. Here's the cover. This could be it. And a kick out. That was just a... What a maneuver. And now Daddy Davis. Here comes the spin. People getting dizzy here inside the 365 Pro Wrestling Ring. And now another round about the sun. John Atlas on his feet, but he is stirring, and Davis measuring him. What could we be seeing here? That airplane spin is devastating. I've been in that myself. And a big knockdown, and there is the cover and the win. It. I can't believe it. Daddy Davis defeats John Atlas here in the main event. I can't believe what I just witnessed. That spin. It's that airplane spin is devastating. What a maneuver. You see here in the replay, and you can see even Daddy Davis was on Dream Street, but had enough wherewithal to measure his opponent and get the rock bottom. It is very hard to recover from that airplane spin. Daddy Davis steals another one. What a main event here on 365 Pro Wrestling. What a show we had for you, folks. And Corey Spade, thank you so much for joining us here on commentary for these last two matchups of the night. We got to do this more. Hey, the pleasure is all yours, I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> My name is Mark Perry. He's Corey, D Corey Spade. We'll see you next time on 365 Pro Wrestling here on Rogers TV.